So my audio wasn't working for this for whatever reason. I'm just gonna have to do a voiceover. It's me saying hello everybody and complaining about the rain. It rained until about 4.30 p.m. So I had to stay indoors and find something to do. Luckily for me, there were some Fortnite tournaments I could play. So I did that. Boop boop, here's Jasper. I made so many mistakes in that tournament. I feel so stupid. <laughs> Oh, I really made so many mistakes. Flip. It's just frustrating. So frustrating. Multiple games where I was just chilling. And then I make a mistake and just ruin it. Whatever. It is what it is. It is the hardest thing that exists in that game, so... I can't complain too much. I have to expect it. And considering that I don't really practice anymore, I just play tournaments. I'm obviously not going to improve if I'm not practicing every day, but... I don't have time for it. I haven't got time to practice every day. Whatever. The rain stopped finally, which is convenient because I need to go outside. Get the chance. Yeah, days like this, I don't know what to do. Like, what, what am I supposed to do? One more tournament in the American region. I can play that. Oh. The seagulls, they come inland when there's a storm coming. And they're all above me right now. I'm quite far from the ocean, so. I wonder why they do it. Maybe because it's just so windy on the ocean. There's windy up here too. I honestly don't know how the sheep do it. Like they don't have a house. They get ringed on while they sleep. How do they, they're not, surely they're not that waterproof. They're wearing wool and wool, wool soaks turns into a sponge, so I don't know how sheep do it really. How do they survive? Well, so I don't know why like the farmer doesn't just provide shelter, just give them like a roof. At least so they can stay dry. Animals are so hardcore. It's just crazy that we just abuse them like they're nothing. They're stronger than us. So this is happening quite, quite often now. I'm just forgetting to eat. I'm filling my days with so many re requirements like that I forget to do the important things. I did eat last night though, I, I ate food at like 3 a.m. last night, but I can tell, like my brain isn't working 100% right now because of this lack of food. I don't feel hungry though, that's, that's what's worrying me. Usually hunger is what triggers me into eating, but if I don't, if I don't feel that, I'm forgetting. <laughs> like I haven't eaten anything today yet, it's, it's like 5 p.m. Well, I'll, I'll eat breakfast as soon as I'm done walking, but it's kind of worrying that that's happening right now. I used to be like this before, back when I was doing YouTube full time in 2013 and 14. I would just drink caffeine and forget to eat. It was really toxic because I would feel the same way. I'd, I would just be in work mode and not even think, oh yeah, nourishment. I've got to actually sustain this vessel, otherwise I can't create. <laughs> hey, if you're watching this and you forgot to eat today, this is a reminder. Also, while I've got you, hit that like button. A lot of you forget to click it. And it actually helps the channel out a lot. So if you don't want to like support me in any other way, just liking the video, it's free. There's nothing to your account. It doesn't affect you in any way. Just press the button. Thank you. I'm trying to find a creative way to remind you guys each video without being annoying. A lot of people tell me that they watch these while they're doing like their morning routine or sometimes their nighttime routine. Often when they're eating, because they're like 10 to 20 minutes, kind of perfect time for eating a meal, just having something on in the background. Is really 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 nice i appreciate it because i i do the same thing i watch other people while i'm eating just because it's the only time i'm not working so, yeah it's nice I, I i like to hear how you guys consume my stuff i, I appreciate it i appreciate you all watching it all the way through too that, that also, also helps with the algorithm so if you want to help me grow the, grow this channel and get to get to my goal of 5k views per vlog if you want to help commenting liking watching it all the way through those three things help the most don't worry about the ads. I'm not asking you to click on any ads. There's no reason to. It's just, it's such a, such a minuscule amount of money. Like, I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about growing. I'm trying to focus on growing the channel without changing my content to suit what's current, currently popping right now. I don't want to have to edit them in a way that isn't me. I don't want to have to change my tone. I don't want to have to get a cameraman for these vlogs. I want to do it all me and keep it as real and as raw as possible so that that feeling that you get from me doesn't disappear. I feel like when pe other people get involved in the content, that kind of feeling of connection with the person you're watching goes away. 
because you now have a cameraman in between and they're talking to the cameraman whereas you are the people that I'm talking to directly people like Ryan Trahan, Arak, all the American YouTubers, Mr. Beast. I've studied their videos, I understand how they're getting views but it's not the kind of content that I can make right now it's not the kind of content that drives me like for this channel anyway, this is just a vlogging channel that's why I'm looking for other vloggers that I can watch and learn from to see how they're doing it it's mostly personality based and also like what's the subject, what are, you, what are they working towards in the vlogs for me, I'm generating money so that I can buy well, so I can move out get my own space from there build a little business making tie-dye clothing hire people and then use that money to buy land to build my my first home on I want to build a hobbit hole and then I'm going to Airbnb that hobbit hole when I'm not there so for winter in winter for example use that money to travel again and go to places that haven't been yet so like South America India you know all those cool places Australia again I'd love to come back that's like my, my whole thing. So each episode I'm working towards that, even if it's in a very small way. So I'm trying to find other YouTubers that are doing something like big, something something I can get behind. Because I need that I need that inspiration for myself. So anybody out there, if you can recommend any YouTubers, they don't actually have to be a daily vlogger. Just someone that's out, out there that's grinding towards something. They're not just making content to make money. They're not just making content to make content. Like they're they're trying to get to somewhere else. If that makes sense, I don't know if I'm making sense. And also another thing, this this daily vlog is not it's not a money making machine. This is I'm doing this to get myself in the work mindset, so that every day I have something to work towards. It gets me out of bed because I know I have to get out of bed. I have only a certain amount of hours in the day to go and create something. That's what's driving me. So I'm not making these to make money directly. Um, indirectly, they are making me money because it brings awareness to my brand. I make money through my store, um, make OnlyFans sales, like. That kind of stuff. But yeah, anyway, I was up really late last night doing OnlyFans stuff. I had a bug where I couldn't send out like a mass message. I had to individually message everyone that follows me on there, which took ages. But yeah, I'm going really hard on the OnlyFans now. I'm trying to grind that again to where it used to be. Um, when I first started it, June last year, June and July were the best months because I had, had people to collaborate with. I had my friends over. It made it a lot easier. And it was also summer. Now I'm like deep in in a Welsh winter on my own, it's, it's harder to do. But I figured out if I just make more pay-per-view stuff, then the money comes back in, it's good again. So yeah, I'm just grinding. <laughs> I'm just grinding every little part of my life right now. Trying to optimize my days so that I can get to where I want to be, which is buying land and building on it. That series, when I'm actually building the Hobbit Hole, we actually make it there. Like, it's going to be such an emotional moment. Just knowing how much work it's gonna take from, to get from there, from here to there. It's gonna be so exciting when it actually all happens. And I just gotta remind myself of the goal, keep manifesting it until it actually happens. That's another thing I can do with these videos is I can show you the power of manifestation. Like I said at the very beginning, everything I've ever wanted, I've got because of YouTube. I just put it out into the world and it comes to me. Just put in the hours, so yeah, I want land, land will come. Like land exists everywhere. It's just about doing all the uh, the boring paperwork stuff and getting permission and all that crap. That's the hard bit. The land acquiring the land itself is not not so difficult. Building the house is not going to be difficult. That's just going to be fun. I'm excited to do that. My own little hobbit hole, using all reclaimed materials so nothing dies because of me. It's been a while since I've been up in this part of the woods, and there's been a lot of storms this winter, so. Just seeing the damage. Yeah, flip. Some massive trees that came down. Sheesh, bro. Holy. Ripped it right out. Man, that's, that's so heavy. Jeez. Flip. Yeah, not a lot of trees survive in, the, in these woods. I don't know why. They get so big and then just topple over. I mean, not that it matters, but maybe it does. Massive piece of ivy here that's been there for a, a while. Maybe that had something to do with it. Look at this tree though. This one came down as well. Flip. That's enormous. Oh, look. 
It's above me. It's just come out of the ground. Jeez. I'm not sure which storm it was that did it, but there's been a lot back to back to back, so yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Wow, it's huge. Oh no. It's just gonna leave a huge gaping hole in the in the trees here. Fleur. Yeah, nothing safe really. This one's doing good. That one's kind of the same size as this, so I'm surprised that this one didn't go. Didn't budge. If anyone knows anything I could do to preserve these trees, please let me know. A bottle? Are you an old bottle or are you a new bottle? Huge trees. Like it's sad, but it's not as bad as humans cutting them down. That just makes me feel awful. Because I know those humans don't have any kind of heart. They value profit over nature, and you should never do that. Nature always wins. So when you put profit over nature, you lose. I love these trees. These, these all fell a long time ago. Like this one's fallen, right? And then kept on growing up here. How crazy. Like it just bent and kept on going. And it's still a tree. Even though it fell over a long time ago. Yeah, stop it. All these trees here, they're growing out of this one that fell over. It's just all the branches. The branches basically just change direction. They're like all these trees are coming out of this one tree that fell over. It's super cool. I think that's why nature inspires me so much. It's like such a badass. You could do anything. Yep. It's so resilient. I think that's why I love it so much. So even if a tree does fall over, it's not the end for it. It doesn't have to be. This one fell over a long time ago. It's still going. Just chilling. Yeah, I don't know, man. Nature's pretty rad, dude. This one here fell over as well. I guess the soil here is just not very strong. It's just really windy. Like, if I go up to the top of here, you'll see the mountains. So the mountains just turn this into a wind tunnel. Quite an intense place to live, I will admit, but it's making me strong, so. People always ask me if I could send them sheep skulls. But I don't feel right. I don't feel right about it. Like that sheep died right there for a reason. I think that it belongs to the earth there. I just don't think it's it's my place to ship it somewhere else. Like maybe if I was shipping a full skeleton, all right, but just the head, I don't know. I don't feel right about that. I love that some of you guys are really, really uh, interested in that kind of stuff though. Like bones are fascinating, but I don't own any. Not that I'm aware of. I think I've got a couple of shark teeth, but that's, that's about it. Having a full skull, I don't know. I feel weird, weird about it. It smells really nice in summer. When the sun comes in, it's really, really lovely right here. Right now, it's just, it's just hardcore, windy. There's another one. So strange. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Who's eating it? Why do dogs like to eat bones? It's so strange. Come on, Jess. Keep moving. It's it's pretty strange to hold a sheep's skull because sheep don't like to be touched. It's very hard to... Well, unless you have it as a pet, but... It's really hard to touch a sheep when they're alive. So when you see the bones, it's pretty trippy. 
because I know that that sheep would have been uh, running away from me right now. It's a shame really because sheep are so fluffy. You just want to cuddle them. But yeah, they've been mistreated, so they just ingrained in them to run away. <laughs> I just poked myself in the eye with two different sticks. Uh, it's because I'm losing light and I'm walking downhill. So I keep, keep getting <laughs> sticks right in the eyeballs. At some point I need to come chop this up. It's been there for a while, I don't want it to rot. It's really useful wood. This whole thing fell off as well. I think probably a year ago me and my dad were chopping that up. Using it as firewood. But we need a lot more of it. I mean we can use all of this too. I'm nice and sweaty now. That's what I need in the morning, just a nice walk through the woods. Uphill and then back downhill. Gets me, gets me my blood flowing. I think in March I'm probably going to commit to doing a river plunge every day. First thing in the morning, go river plunge. It's probably the best way to fix my sleep is knowing that I have to be up to do something difficult. So I want to go to bed early so it's not like mid-afternoon when I'm taking the dip. First thing in the morning it's fine. Be warm enough to warm myself back up again. Yeah, there's a few rivers nearby that I can walk to in the morning and just have a little plunge. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna set that in stone. But that's my idea for March. I honestly, I didn't expect to be like vlogging every day in February. I only really committed to doing it in January, but I mean, here we are. I'm gonna keep it going. Just see what comes of it, you know? There's daily vloggers out there that did hundreds and hundreds of days and I don't know if I've ever, ever get to that level, but where they are now is, is huge. They're, they're huge creators. They've achieved so much because of the daily vlog. Like think about it, Logan Paul did a daily vlog for a couple of years. Every day. Granted, he had a lot more money and, and he could invest it into the videos, so they were epic. He had a cameraman and an editor, so it's a lot easier for him. But he still made a video every day. That's not easy to do. So it doesn't really matter how much help you've got, it's still quite hard. You're still the talent. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how, how long I can keep this going. Just see what comes from it. I, I need land, so. I'm gonna film every day until I get it. Cereal. Garrod. I realise that I end most of my videos just here. <laughs> I spent most of my days here. Well, most of my nights. I played two tournaments today, six hours of content up on Twitch. Uh, I did a lot better in the American one than I did in the European one. It was fun. I had fun. It was tough, but I had fun. Now I'm probably just going to wind down. I didn't end up doing any packaging, so I'm probably going to do that tomorrow now. Well, I have to do it tomorrow because it has to go out on Monday. But I'm going to watch some content. Um, yeah. My watch later, by the way. It's 1,626 videos long, my watch later list on YouTube. Jeez, how did it get so bad? I don't understand. I watch too much content. I don't even have time to watch all this content. Valentine's side party going on in London, and Poppy invited me to it, and I really want to go, but obviously I can't, because I'm daily vlogging and trying to grind. Driving to London cost me like £100, and it's just not worth it. Gas is so expensive right now. But it's frustrating. I want to be there. I like dancing to Sai and some grotty illegal rave, but I can't. I can't justify the spending right now. I'm trying to save. Most frustrating because she's going to go have fun. And yeah, I just don't get to be there. <laughs> I'm basically isolating myself because I can't. I live too far away. I live too flipping far away from everybody. And it's really annoying. I think London's the capital. There's millions of people there. I would have people to hang out with if I lived closer to the capital. Why am I here in Wales? Okay, I've been sat here doing my loop again. Going from Instagram, YouTube, Discord. Instagram, YouTube, Discord, like this loop. For hours and hours and hours, just losing all my night. Why am I doing this? I'm getting this such a toxic cycle. It's been happening often. It's happening often now. It's it's concerning. <laughs> I can't be staying up past midnight. I, every time I do, I waste so much time. I did a bunch of work. You'll I'll, I'll explain the work in the morning. There's no point in explaining it right now because I wanted to be at the start of tomorrow's video. So, good night. Thanks for hanging out once again. Make sure you like the video. Okay, tomorrow. Tomorrow.